Welcome to the Cooking with Sammy Show. I'm Sammy Shepchuk and I'm going to share my love of cooking with you. Now today, it's January and it's minus 40. It doesn't matter if you're talking Celsius or Fahrenheit, minus 40, it's still minus 40. It is cold. And who wants to get out of bed to a bowl of cold cereal and milk? And who wants to slave in the kitchen to make a hot breakfast? So I'm going to show you how to make my easy homemade waffles. Now this is my waffle iron. I've had this for about 10 years now, and yes, it's a Sesame Street waffle maker, but it makes really good waffles, and my kids absolutely love it. So we're going to start by plugging it in, so we can start heating while we're making our waffles. Now the next thing we need to do is measure a cup of milk. I use a glass measure, so it can go right in the microwave, because we're going to warm it up. And you want to measure one cup. I use whole milk but you certainly can try skim milk 2%. I, I use whole milk and that's what mine tastes best with. So we're gonna go pop it in the microwave. In my microwave, I do 50 seconds. You want okay, now the milk is done and while it sets, I'm gonna measure my flour and it's a cup and a quarter. I use all purpose white. Now you wanna spoon it into your cup and you just gently, gently, gently level it off. So that's one cup and a quarter, same thing. Okay, now I need a quarter cup of packed brown sugar. You can use white sugar, but I do prefer the taste of the brown sugar. It gives it a nice caramelized taste. So we'll push those out of our way. We're done with that. We need one tablespoon of baking powder. Stir that up. Make sure there's no lumps in your brown sugar. That was a fresh bag of brown sugar. Normally I put a piece of bread in there and soften it up for a day or two so that it's lump free. I find that's the best way to keep your sugar lump free from a brand new bag. There. So that's done. Now I've already cracked an egg in here. And you just whisk it up. an immersion blender, but that's just more dishes to wash. There you go, nice and light and fluffy. Perfect. Then you need a quarter cup of oil. Add that right to the egg. Now I always leave a little bit in the cup to grease my waffle iron with. Let me stir that up. Perfect. Then you grab your milk that's warm and keep whisking as you add the milk because you don't want to end up with scrambled eggs, right? There we be. See, it mixes really easily, really well. Pour it over. And the light's gone out in the waffle maker, so it's ready to go. You can see it's a little worn, but it still works as good as the day I bought it. Let's see, open the waffle iron. Take the leftover oil. And a pastry brush. I use a silicone one. Easier to clean. Mine takes about three tablespoons. Now you can use a measuring cup, a ladle, whatever you like, but as I said, it's just more dishes to wash, so I prefer just to use the spoon that I was stirring with. You can see it's puffing up already from the heat. Spread it right to the edges so it's nice and even. There, you can see it's just puffing up so beautiful already. Oh, these are going to be so good. Now close the waffle iron. And my waffle maker, I cook for about four to five minutes, but follow the directions on your waffle maker. Okay, 
Okay, there we go. It is four minutes, and here are these lovely waffles. <gasps> Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Now, to keep them crisp, I always put them on a cooling rack, a grid, to, so that they um, stay nice and crisp. This waffle maker, and the reason I like it so much, I can get ones that make sticks and all different kinds, but this one has the little faces in the middle, so you can fill it up with just a tablespoon of waffle mix and cook it for about two minutes. And kids absolutely love these little faces. So we'll let them cook for two minutes. And I'll show you how you can serve these. Now most people like syrup and that. It, it is good, but it also is full of glucose, fructose, and all things that are not good for us. So I take the waffles and I put them like this. And you can decorate them with fruit. And I give the kids a bowl of fruit or adults alike, whomever. And they can just do whatever they want and eat it with fruit. You can also take it and you can um, decorate the faces up. Give the kids the fruit and let them decorate the faces. Kids absolutely love doing things like that. And my oldest daughter likes to eat hers in the morning with bananas and only bananas. You can serve them with whipped cream. Now what kid wouldn't like that in the morning? Perfect. Now you can cool them on here, put them in a plastic bag, store them in the refrigerator. Kids get up in the morning, pop them in the toaster, they get to sleep in. Kids can um, make you breakfast in bed. It is wonderful. So there are my delicious homemade waffles. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks.